G'day, this is Captain New, breaking more laws about how male players can't play female characters, and this is the Pipe Shotgun Collection. Now, contrary to the title of the mod, this is not really a collection, whereas a collection of mods on this particular weapon, which is the Pipe Shotgun. So right now, we've got all the basic stuff on, just a single barrel there and a... Uh, pistol grip there, but we're going to change that right now. We're going to go for performance for this one. So first of all, for the receivers, we'll pop that all the way up to advance. This is basically going to follow what you'd get out of a standard double barrel shotgun, which is nice and familiar. We'll go ahead and chuck a long barrel on that to increase our range and accuracy. Very, very nice indeed. And the padded stock will give us the best hip fire and um, accuracy and recoil, which is good. Now, for the barrels, what we want to do is leave it as a semi-automatic barrel, because that'll actually give it a magazine, and we'll be able to fire for a lot longer with more bullets before having to reload. But I'm going to try out a different um, variety of receivers. In fact, this quad barrel actually looks kind of cool. I like my quad shotguns. Just ask Mr. Torg. Next up, we've got the sights, and we don't really need to do anything too special here. Reflex sights will go on nice. It'll increase our accuracy a little bit. Actually, I've, I should probably put the glow one on. Not sure what the point of a see-through scope would be on this. Maybe if we're firing slugs, but as I, as far as I know, this thing can only fire the standard shotgun shells. And for the muzzle, we're going to go with suppressor, surprise, surprise, and that'll increase our damage due to Ace Operator. There, it looks a little bit off, um, misaligned with that barrel, but sure, whatever, that'll be fine. Um, I'll just mention that there is a Deathclaw um, thing here. Hang on, it's called a Deathclaw bayonet, which has Epic Bash, which I'm definitely going to attach to my quad. But yes. Moving on from that, we've got the chokes. Now, this is a thing where you can just change the spread of your shotgun pellets, which is actually useful. I find modified choke to be the best on a long barrel there. And if you want to go for a shorter barrel, I'd highly suggest full choke because it's a little bit um, much with a longer barrel, but modified choke seems to have a nice balance between spread and um, accuracy. Now, for the magazines, obviously, you can actually change the magazine there. You can put in a quick eject large drum there. Very good. Now, I've got heaps of ammo to this, and it's basically looking more like a pipe gun now. But sure, this will be fine. And, of course, a legendary effect is there if you need it. But at 280 damage with a suppressed shotgun that can fire pretty fast, I feel like we'll be okay. All right, so we'll grab a couple more of these. We'll head into Gunners Plaza and wreak some havoc. Oh, this has me disappointed. I'm creating my um, quad right now, and you've got the bayonets going all around the barrel if you do the handmade one, but the Deathclaw one, there's only one of them. Oh, that sucks. Imagine four Deathclaw um, fingers or nails, I guess. Fingernails along the barrel there. That'd be sick. Oh, well. Okay, so here we are in Gunners Plaza, and here is our pipe shotgun up close and personal in first person. Turning around and looking at this thing in third person, yeah, it looks basically like a pipe gun from the vanilla game, but that's fine, it's just a little bit thicker. This is what our quad looks like with that nice um, deathclaw fingernail barrel on it. Next up, we've got the revolver, which I've actually equipped with a pistol grip, and it's basically a big, thick revolver uh, pipe thingy that shoots shotgun shells, which is kind of cool. I think I've seen that before in other mods, actually. And last but not least is our caravan shotgun, um, just the over-under double barrel. I've actually put explosive on this because it'll be lackluster compared to all the others. Okay, so I've just seen the gunners um, in the background whilst I was doing that, so we'll get the drop on them from here. Why not? I'm going to show you... One quirk that this weapon has, which actually makes it super effective against these gunners, and that is it can basically fire like a Jacob shotgun, as fast as you can bloody pull the trigger. And as you can tell there, with all of those sneak attack criticals, we can just nail these gunners that quick. See, this is why they put um, fire rate limiters on the combat shotgun, because you could do shit like that. No one would use anything but the combat shotgun. Plus recoil and realism and all that, but yeah, as a game balance point, this is why they did it. People are not keen on shotgun suppressors, and you know what? I feel like there's um, there's merit in that, I suppose, but in terms of how this weapon performs with it, why wouldn't you put a suppressor on it? Now, I'm only seeing that this thing has 12 shotgun shells in the um, magazine there, which for a large drum is a little bit lackluster, but looking at it, oh, we just actually knocked it down. How? That's interesting, this thing might have more limb damage, and I can't get around you, so I just have to shoot you in the head at point blank. Yes, but looking at the magazine there, I think 12 is about right, so that's good. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. We haven't been detected too badly yet. In fact, that gunner will probably die and we'll be good. Not quite, but anyways, we'll move over to our quad because it's enough of this sneaking around with a shotgun business. Let's go in um, at these guys' hardcore style, and also... 
Hmm, that damage, that range doesn't seem to be very good, but when we bash people, we'll have a look at that, what that does. Eh, not great. I think blasting these people point blank like that is how we're going to do it. But as you can tell there, whilst we can fire this thing as fast as we could the other gun, um, we're at a significant disadvantage due to its lack of bullets. Also, there's Captain Bridget. I ought to shoot you before you kill me, so have some critical hits. Ah, yes, good old shotgun criticals. Pretty good in Fallout 4, I reckon. Shotguns before Fallout 4 were very, very, um, I don't know, they just seemed a little bit more inconsistent to what I'd like them to be. I think there's a glitch there. Even in some of the runs that I've seen in Fallout 3, they'd actually take hits because the shotguns would miss at point blank. So I'm glad they got that all sorted out when Fallout 4 came around with their VATS overhaul. Okay, not too impressed with the quad there, even though it has style points for being like a Borderlands shotgun. Obviously, this one's going to have a slower fire rate because it's a revolver, and then even a s about the same mag capacity, actually. I was about to say smaller. Get, go on, get him. Haha, <laughs> the barrel was through them and then they died anyway, that's okay. Ooh, back in a nerd rage, that was good timing for that shot. We'll take this momentum into this guy. Ooh, we actually are one-shotting people. That's what I feel like shotguns should have the power of doing without me being in nerd rage, but whatever. Hopefully we get some of our health back by killing those bastards there. Not a lot. I think someone picked up Captain Bridget's gun because I usually get a little bit more um, regen than that. And you know what? We'll use the caravan shotgun with our explosive effect for the last ones. If you're using a double barreled one and it reloads like that, I've got the Battlefield 1 animations installed still and they work fine with it, which is good stuff. It also works with a quad, you probably saw that before, but the shell alignment when you reload isn't the best, and that's because um, the the Battlefield 1 uh, animation is a little bit modified. I think they change the skeleton around, and all the positioning of the bits are a little bit off. But yeah, it's especially noticeable when you've got the quad there, because uh, you just put the shotgun shells everywhere. I wonder if that would happen in regular. Okay, we'll go for some shotgun blasting at close range. And we probably came too close to death there. You should probably have a stim pack after this. You're probably bleeding half to death as we speak. Okay. Let's not bother with that. We'll just go over and kill him with an explosive one. That is definitely the best decision I've made all day. Okay, so that was a pipe shotgun collection in Gunners Plaza there. You can make it really good or you could make it just mediocre. That's completely up to you depending on what parts you put. Have a stim pack. Okay, we'll move on to something else now. There's got to be some fun you can do with shotguns, right? Okay, I think I've found something fun. This thing's going to be firing uh, plasma-tipped missiles instead of shotgun pallets. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hmm. Dunno. Not really feeling it. Don't think that was too fun. I think I may have overdone it just a little bit. Also, there's something else that begs my attention over here. Well, Mr. Feral Ghoul Reaver, who usually gets killed by Swan before I start recording. <laughs> I like how it cuts away as soon as the explosions happen. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, yes, I overdone it. I'm going to do something a little bit more tame, Okay, I now that we've got all of that out of our system, let's go with the lucky legendary effect and see how we do against Super Mutant Warlords because these guys are needlessly tanky and we'll see how fast we can cut through their sh um, health. I was about to say shields, but no. The health is what we want to get through with a trusty lucky effect attached to our handmade, not handmade, shotgun, pipe shotgun. Okay, so go for a sneak attack critical, probably in a caution right now considering you just said, huh, what's that? Okay, didn't do too well there, but that's okay. We'll just follow it up with some more crits and we'll get them back nice and quick too, thanks to the lucky legendary effect. We're about at the luck where um, we meet the diminishing returns for getting our crits back. So, we're going to get them at a fairly um, decent rate. Oh, there's that reload in slow motion there. That actually looks kind of good. Obviously, the Battlefield 1 animation does not alter the animations in third person, so they line up fine enough. Alright, so, so far so good. Haven't really taken any health damage whatsoever, which is good for Rain, considering how she got shot up to hell in that first section there. Well, that's good. Okay, so I wasn't really convinced by the epic bash, quote-unquote, um, offered by the Deathclaw thing, so if we find a weaker Super Mutant, we'll try to test that out again, but for now, we'll just sneak up on this guy in plain view. Someone there says a Super Mutant. Yes, there is someone there, would you believe? Take this. 
So 55 damage per the eight pellets, I'm guessing. Okay, we got better there simply because concentrated fire helped us out. And more crit spamry. We'll go ahead and just finish him off with the standard shots now. Hopefully get a few back. Do you have any idea where I am? Okay, he did, but he was running at that... Um, he was just running in random directions, which was kind of strange. Hop over these sandbags. Jump up here. And what have we got? Just a legendary Super Mutant Warlord, eh? Well, let's see how you like. Gratuitous Crit Spammery. Ah, yes. Now that we are basically in point-blank range, we're getting the best damage we can out of this, which was enough to make him mutate in two shots, which is nice. And enough to about knock off a third of his health there. Yeah, I'm looking for those crits game, so if you can give me a crit to judge the damage off that instead of letting me be ping pong between two super mutants there, that's not good. Let's go ahead and just shoot him in the face. There we go, there's a crit back for one. Oh, he's out of here then. Oh, there we go, a nice crit on that guy finished him off kind of easily. I didn't actually catch the numbers, uh, the damage numbers there, but I'm sure it was kind of impressive. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, shoot this guy. He, he said I killed my brother even though I killed a dog, so I guess this guy is half dog. I don't want to imagine how that works before the FEV comes into play, but instead of thinking about that, we'll think about how many bullets or pallets we can land in your face there. Crit time. Okay, so we're basically burning crits as soon as we get them, but whatever. If this is the best way to get the damage. Oh, we didn't actually kill him then. That's disappointing. And bugger off, doggo. You're not needed here. In fact, we're going to bash you. Take this. And that. Go to him, finally. I think I saw 347 damage on that um, crit bash there, which is actually kind of good. Bash your perk. Pretty useless for the most part, but can get you out of a jam if you feel like running up to a super mutant warlord with an automatic rifle there. Ooh, we did a ton of damage there. Now, obviously, since it's not an actual VATS crit, the lucky effect unfortunately doesn't affect it. But imagine that if we could have a lucky bashing shotgun, which actually is benefited by the lucky perk there. That'd be sick. You could bash them for so much damage then. You could probably rely on the bayonet sometimes, provided, provided you're lucky enough to get that crit. Ooh, in the face there, 750 damage there. That was really good. Okay, looks like we found the thing's sweet spot. Also, we bashed him really quickly there. I think we came out of that stagger animation way too fast. Ooh, nice headbutt. That was probably enough to give you a blood nose or a broken nose, but since we're playing as Super Rain, I don't think we'll need to worry about those sorts of injuries. We can get shot and we won't even have any blood spatters on us. How does that work? I don't know. Ah, yes, we can actually bash him fast and he can swing his um, Super Sledge or just regular Sledge. One of these days we'll get a crit on your face. Come on. There we go. Okay, now that that's all done, well, we'll use our remaining action points to shoot you in the face until we can get some crits back. In fact, we won't even bother wasting a crit on him. So we've got like two and three quarters of a crit now, which is good. Probably won't need to use all of that. That's an enforcer there. We'll see if we get a cheeky bash on him. Come here. And then the super mutant's telling me that this is no game. He obviously hasn't played Fallout 4 before. Alright, just laying out AP regenerate before we engage this last super mutant. Might as well shoot him from across here. Yeah, a lot of good that's doing. Also, I've just come into that because I was trying to reload at the same time while I was looking at that. That's when the control mapping is a little bit on the bad side because you have to sometimes... Ooh, okay, we actually get a... We actually get a ricochet on him to actually finish him off. So, there you have it. That was the pipe shotgun collection. You can make this good or bad, like I said before, depending on what you put on it. For performance, I highly recommend getting this thing in a mag fed system with a suppressor, ace operator, all of those stealth perks will definitely do you well too. And then you can just shoot people very, very easily. In fact, I probably should have... No, no, I won't put a suppressor on this one. I, I, I kind of like having that death claw finger on it to do um, 750 damage when we bash him in the head. But yes, keep in mind that this thing was 
used on very hard difficulty, which does cut your damage output in half. So if you're playing on lesser difficulties, you'll find yourself having a little bit more success for this weapon. But if you'd like to download this thing for yourself and use it, check out the description. It's on PC, possibly on Xbox One. I'd, I assume it would be because it's been out for a while, and usually Xbox One likes having these mods on it because modder quality is great. Sorry, PS4 users, you're going to have to stick to whatever mods uh, you have that would allow you to have a pipe shotgun. But you can get the Rain Companion mod, best segue ever, that's available for all platforms too, in the description. Thank you for watching, guys.